coding skills are absolutely essential for any good developer. One of the places where you need to use, use, use your keyboard most effectively is the command prompt or the shell prompt. In today's video, we are going to talk about uh, being effective as a developer on the shell prompt. And the shells we are talking about here are Bash and ZSH. These shells are, up, uh, are available on Mac and Windows as well as, of course, Linux, which is where they originated. So um, both the shells, they provide two key binding modes, Emacs key bindings and VI key bindings. Uh, Emacs is the default, but um, I prefer VI. I find myself more productive with VI key bindings. So that's what we are going to use to set any particular um, key binding mode. You can say set minus O Emacs, which is default, or set minus O VI, which is not default. But you can make the, it default and permanent by uh, appending it to your dot bash RC or to your dot ZSH RC. Okay, so let's do that. And now um, in VI, if you know VI editing, you have you have to press escape to get into command mode. And once you're in command mode, you can start entering commands such as K, escape K for, and just the K, and then you can keep pressing K for moving up in the history, okay? By the way, uh, you can type your own history, entire history by typing history. So that shows you what, what all is in your command history. Now you can navigate through this history with escape, get into the command mode, and now press K, 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 K. So we are going up and or backwards in the history. And then J, on the other hand, moves forward in history. Okay, so this is how we are moving back and forth in history. Now we can also move within the command line that we are editing with H, we are moving backward, and with L, we are moving forward. H, and you can hold these keys down, and L. Now, if you want to go to the very beginning of the line, just press zero. If you want to go to the end of the line, press dollar sign. Again, zero for beginning of the line, dollar sign for the end of the line. So you, it makes it so much easier to just jump around on the command line, rather than having to press this H or even worse yet, the arrow keys. So zero and dollar sign. Okay, now if you want to go to the very beginning of your history, press, then you can just press GG. GG, this looks like the first command in my history on the shell. Or shift G takes you to the end of the history. At which point, it'll, you're at the end of the history, which means you're you don't have any any command currently. Uh, you're at the end, and then you can move up. Okay, so let's talk about um, editing the command line. So let me press Control C. By the way, I do press Control C quite often when I'm on a command that I don't really intend to execute. So just press Control C and you're out. What, I, what about if you were on a command that you um, do intend to ex execute, but just not yet? Let's say this command. I want, to I want to remember this command, but I don't want to run it just yet. So I want it to go into my history without actually executing it. The trick is pound sign. So I pressed shift pound sign, and now it's in my history. I can just go back to it with escape K, and then I can uh, use zero to get to the beginning and a dollar sign to the, get to the end. I can change anything, etc. Okay, so we'll get to changing in a second. So now, how do we edit this command line? Well, you press I and it starts inserting at the current cursor position. Or you can press A and then it starts insert appending after the current cursor position. So I for at current cursor position and A for after the current cursor position. Now, 
If you press Shift I, you can start inserting at the very beginning of the command line. By the way, I'm pressing Escape U to undo. Or you can press Shift A to append after the end of the line. Okay. Shift I, insert at the beginning. Shift A, append to the end. Now, you can also delete uh, the remainder of the line by just going to some place. I'm using B for backward word by word movement and W for forward word by word movement, right? And I can just, uh, let's say I want to delete everything from here, this point onward. So Shift D, and now I should append and start doing things. Um, the other is uh, replacing. If you want to replace one character, let's say 320 to 321, so that's R. The character is R and then whatever the replacement character you want. Or if you want to replace a series or contiguous chunk of characters, then press Shift R. And now you can say, you know, whatever, 4AD, let's say. Right? Escape U, undo. Now, if you wanted to change a particular given word, then just do this, C, W, and then now, whatever. Okay, C, W, escape U, undo. Or if you want to delete a word, D, W. Okay, now if you want to uh, re rerun the previous command, like previous editing command, not previous shell command. So let's say you were deleting words, so, and you want to delete a whole bunch of them. So you go, Delete the first one, D, W, and then just press dot, dot, dot. It repeats the previous editing command. Okay, so that's very helpful. Um, okay, S what else? So how about search and uh, yeah, search. So if you want to search, first of all, when I'm in the middle of this command line, it, it, it says what it says, and I want, want to discard it, I don't want it in my history also. Control C and I'm out. So search. Search is initiated with either Control R and then you type the character, uh, the word you want to look, look for, Docker, let's say. And then if you want to repeat the search, press Escape and then N, N. So this is uh, next occurrence of the search pattern in your history. And Shift N is, it does the same search, but forward. Now it is searching forward, next. So N for backward and Shift N for forward. Now Control R is one way to do it. The other way to do it is escape slash. So so if you're a VI user, you probably prefer slash. And then you can say Docker, let's say, if I'm searching for. And now to repeat the search, make sure you press escape and now N character will search through the history. It repeats the search. Or Shift N will do it in the opposite direction. Okay. So these are some of the keyboard shortcuts in shell in the bash and ZSH shell. Finally, if you want to exit the shell, you can of course uh, type exit like that or um, you could just press Control D. I'm not going to press Control D. D it's going to, um, you know, close the shell for me. Or if I open a new shell, let's say, and now I press Control D, that exit the shell. So hopefully you have learned something. Keyboarding skills are very important for most developers. It, it helps you be more productive. It helps you do your test um, and development cycles much faster. Obviously, you need to learn your IDE well, but then outside of the IDE, the, uh, the other most important tool in the command uh, where we do a lot of typing is um, the shell, command shell. So that's, that's why it's so important, okay? So once again, Command prompt keyboarding skills for developer productivity. Hope you learned something.